Now talking about the proton density weighted images, the proton density weighted images are basically an intermediate signal sequence uh, which shares the features of both the T1 sequence as well as the T2 sequence. Now uh, basically uh, the higher the number of the protons available in any t specified tissue will uh, reflect, uh, will show a greater signal for any uh, tissue and consequently the lesser number of protons will show uh, low density in that area. Now the proton density images were basically uh, made for the brain, uh, extensively used for the brain which were not has been largely replaced with the flare sequences present. Now the proton dens uh, density uh, shows an excellent signal distinction between the fluid as well as the hyaline cartilage and the fiber cartilage. Now this makes it an excellent uh, sequence ideal for the assessment of uh, the joints. The dominant signal intensities of uh, the tissues uh, inside the PD weighted images are the uh, fluid that will show high signal intensity or will appear white. The muscle will show intermediate density, will appear gray. The fat again will show high density. Uh, the hyaline cartilage uh, will appear white, whereas the fibro cartilage will show uh, low signal intensity or may appear even black. The TR and the TE uh, values uh, differ from the conventional T1 and T2. In this, the TR value is usually set to 3000, usually range between 2000 to 5000 ms. And the uh, the TE values are between 10 to 20, kept very low. Now the easiest way to identify uh, the proton density weighted images is to compare the fluid against the fat signals. So the fluid normally appears uh, grayish white, um, almost similar in appearance to uh, the fat in the body. Uh, extensively used for the brain image but not has been largely replaced with the flare sequences present. Now the proton dens uh, density uh, shows an excellent signal distinction between the fluid as well as the hyaline cartilage and the fiber cartilage. Now, this makes it an excellent uh, sequence ideal for the assessment of uh, the joints. The dominant signal intensities of uh, the tissues uh, inside the PD weighted images are the uh, fluid that will show high signal intensity or will appear white. The muscle will show intermediate density, will appear gray. The fat again will show high density. Uh, the hyaline cartilage uh, will appear white, whereas the fibro cartilage will show uh, low signal intensity or may appear even black. The TR and the TE uh, values uh, differ from the conventional T1 and T2. In this, the TR value is usually set to 3000, usually range between 2000 to 5000 ms. And the, uh, the TE values are between 10 to 20, kept very low. Now the easiest way to identify uh, the proton density weighted images is to compare the fluid against the fat signals. So the fluid normally appears uh, grayish white, um, almost similar in appearance to uh, the fat in the body. Now another feature uh, is the bone marrow, uh, which will show an equal or a higher than that of the muscle. Uh, the marrow is usually bright. And the fat is bright, but as compared to a T1 image, it will be slightly darker, whereas the fluid will be slightly darker as uh, as in conventional T2 images. Now the white matter and the gray matter, white matter will be darker than the bright gray matter, and the gray matter will be uh, like bright gray. The moving blood will be again uh, will be again uh, black or will show. Uh, the, the flow voids uh, in the in the major vessels in which there is high blood flow. Uh, the bone again will be dark. The air will be dark. <coughs> now these are the features. Now useful. Most what the mostly it is used for brain images, but previously previously told will be uh, are largely replaced by uh, the flare sequences for differentiating between uh, pathology that is uh, that is present very close to the ventricles of brain. Now, the second uh, useful thing is the body joints. The ankle, the knee, the elbow, and the TMJ and the hip joint. Best seen in uh, proton density weighted images. It gives you a uh, very clear differentiation between the joint disc, the fluid spaces, the, fluids, uh, the fluid will be uh, visible uh, in, uh, in uh, the fluid will be visible as bright uh, 
both the joint spaces of superior and the inferior joint spaces along with the disc will be uh, clearly differentiated from the disc, both of them, and uh, can be useful in the thighs, the lower legs, the upper arms, and the forearm images. Now the thing is, what difference does it make? And is it worth doing or not, apart from the joints? Or is it is the TMJ too much important that we should look for, we should go for a background density images for the pathologist of TMJ? Now this was a very short review on the proton density within images. Maybe I'm going too fast in it. And uh, now, uh, how to clinically uh, apply uh, this proton density images and uh, how to differentiate between the conventional T1, T2 and the proton density images sketch onto our next video that is coming in shortly in uh, a few days. Now, uh, like if you like, dislike if you dislike. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel. For more videos, watch the Radio Energy channel. And uh, thanks for watching.